In this session, I am going to introduce Shadow Dome. We can't think of a Shadow Dome like a dome within another dome. That's why it's challenging to locate an element inside of a Shadow Dome. Dome stands for Document Object Model, which represents the HTML nodes in a tree format. The purpose is to define properties, define a structure, and define contents of a web page. When it comes to a shadow dome, it allows a developer to hide the dome by attaching it to a tree within the original dome. Let me show you how a developer can hide the dome. On this popular books page, we can inspect the search field. Notice above this highlighted section, we see shadow roots four times. However, this breadcrumb gives us a clue that the search field element is in a shadow dome, but we only need one of these shadow roots. Do you see hashtag shadow root? That is the only shadow root with an expanded node. The other shadow roots are not relevant and not used for locating the search field. I found this diagram on the internet and it shows the shadow root structure. We have one original dome and three shadow domes. The original dome has an orange shadow host. A shadow host is an element with a shadow tree. The shadow tree is a dome tree, but that shadow dome tree always begins with a shadow root, which is similar to the original dome, which always begins with HTML. It has its own dome tree with elements and a possible shadow host. Do you see how the second box, which is the first shadow dome, has an extension from the shadow host? It has two more shadow roots. We are not able to locate no elements in the gray boxes because the developers chose to hide those elements within the shadow dome. However, we can locate the shadow host in the original dome. For example, if I go back to our AUT, we see book app is the shadow host in the original dome. Therefore, it's no problem finding the shadow host. Search by writing two forward slashes book hyphen app. And bingo, we found the element because it's located in the uh, dome. <laughs> it's located yellow in the dome. Whenever we see shadow root, that means it is the start of a new shadow dome. So watch what happens when I search for app header by writing two forward slashes app hyphen header. It's no good. It's no good because the shadow dome hid the app header element. It also hides the app toolbar element and the book input decorated element. And I can show you that also. App hyphen toolbar. Did not find it. And I also look for book or input hyphen decorator. And it did not find it. From this diagram, we see how an element can be in one shadow dome or within a nested shadow dome. A nested shadow dome is when a shadow dome is located in another shadow dome, something like the last two boxes. There are different ways to find an element inside a shadow dome. We can find an element without using Selenium find element method. Also locate an element when using Selenium find element method. I'm gonna show you both ways and demo how to locate an element within a nested shadow dome. And I will see you in the next session. Thank you. All Part 1 eBooks and PDF documents are free. Programming books for UFT. Programming books for Java. Here's a Selenium automation book. And TestNG. Subscribe to get notification of future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.